Welcome back everyone. I'm John. And I'm Claire. And today we're going over Unit 3, Future of Korea's Population. So there's some difficulties with Korean's population. Uh, it's, well, the young people, the young population is declining and the old population is increasing. Um, and it's there's a, a lot topic. of factors, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hot topic, you said? Yeah, lots of my students have brought this uh, topic yeah. up to me. It's something we've debated back and forth over a number of years. So. Ooh, a number of years. Mm, a persistent a lot of... topic. <laughs> it is. It's a persistent topic because it persistently is getting worse. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of predictions are out there that we might talk about a little bit later. How many siblings do you have? Mm -hmm. And how many siblings do your parents have? Definitely true for me. Okay. No siblings. Mm -hmm. My mother has three siblings, and my father actually only has one. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's not a stark difference. Well, with my mother it is. One family of or, four? Yeah, family of four. Only child? Yeah. How yeah, I, um, my parents, let's see, my mom has a sister, and my dad had a brother. Mm -hmm. uh, I have three brothers. So oh. they went the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. However, on the whole, or for the most part, there will be a stark difference, meaning your parents will probably have more siblings than you do, mm -hmm. especially if you're living in places that are a little bit more highly populated mm -hmm. or densely populated, I should say. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And I think if we go back one more generation to my mm. grandparents, my grandmother had five siblings, so making a total of six children. And my grandfather, actually, no, he only had two sisters. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so you, it's you not have, the greatest yeah. examples. <laughs> you have not cases. contributed to the population <laughs> as much. Well, you definitely haven't. No, yet, yes, but uh, whittled down yeah. to one child. Yeah, so. it whittled down to one child. Mm -hmm. um, and as for my brothers, um, we've whittled it down to maybe three children. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it's getting down and down for us too. But there's still time left for you guys. You know, who knows? You might become parents. Could be. Later in life, could be ten children. Could Puppies happen. are good too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, this is my plan also. Yeah. But cats. But cats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I actually want to answer this next question, mm -hmm. so I'm going to ask it to myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may know of a large family. Go ahead and think of them now. But for me, I knew this family. <laughs> hey, oh, should I say their name? I don't know. Hey, family, you know who you are. Uh, they, I believe now, have 19 biological children wow. and four, maybe five adopted children. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So in all, what, 22, 23 um, uh, children in their family. Wow. Yeah, that was, a, that was a bit on the extreme side, I thought. <laughs> That's the scariest thing I can possibly imagine, <laughs> having 20 plus children. <laughs> You're like having one child, but then 20 plus. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look deeper into that article and come back with a review. Unit 3. Future of Korea's Population For a variety of reasons, Koreans of parenting age are having fewer kids these days. In fact, not enough babies are being born to prevent the population from shrinking. The percentage of people over 65 years old is also increasing rapidly. The most realistic way to replenish the population would be through immigration, but many people are uncomfortable with this idea. Be that as it may, something needs to be done so that Korea will have an adequate population to sustain economic activity.